Welcome to this tutorial on adding Angular material to your project. The first command you see on the screen is ing add at Angular material. When you run this command in your terminal, Angular CLI will start the process of integrating Angular material into your application. It will install the necessary NPM packages which include the Angular material components, the component dev kit, CDK, and Angular animations package which is required for the material components to animate properly. Once the packages are installed, Angular CLI will then prompt you to choose a pre-built theme. Angular Material comes with several pre-built themes that can give a consistent look and feel to your application out of the box. You can also choose to set up a custom theme later if you prefer. Next, it will ask if you want to set up global Angular Material topography styles. These styles are designed to provide a consistent topography scale and rhythm throughout your app. You can opt in or opt out depending on your design requirements. Finally, it will inquire if you want to set up browser animations for Angular Material. This is necessary if you want to use components with animations like modal dialogues, various form controls, and ripples. Now, let's move on to creating a new navigation component using Angular Material. Now that you have Angular Material added to your project, it's time to generate some components. The command you see here is a generate command using the Angular CLI. The portion at Angular Material. Navigation is a schematic provided by Angular Material that scaffolds a new navigation component complete with a toolbar and a side navigation. Replace less than component name greater than with whatever name you wish to give your navigation component. For example, if I want to name my component main nav, I would run ing generate at Angular Material Navigation Main Nav. This command would create a new folder in your project with the main nav component files, including HTML, CSS, and TypeScript files pre-configured with a material design navigation structure. After running the navigation schematic command, you will see that Angular CLI has updated your app module TS with the new component and any necessary Angular material modules. Your navigation component will include a toolbar with your app's title and a responsive side navigation that can toggle based on screen size or user interaction. With just these two commands, you've added Angular material to your project and created a navigation component. Customizing the component to fit the needs of your app is straightforward. You can now add routing, links, and additional content to the toolbar and side nav to create a fully functional navigation system for your application. Remember. You can always refer to Angular Materials extensive documentation for detailed guidance on using and customizing each component.